Peggy Green and today we're going to be talking about what kind of art actually sells. I did a little Google search for favorite painting and what I found may astonish you. One of the things I noticed in uh, just at a broad glance of all these paintings is there's a lot of color. Color is huge. So I've been seeing paintings like this all over the web for the last few years and I don't, I don't recall, oh okay so I guess this is Leonid Efremov and he uses a palette knife and he has these very very bright colors and that's what draws people to his work and I find this is a prime example of kind of like what's gaining quick attention on the internet and I think it's interesting because the experience of viewing a painting is so intimate and normally you would never be in a position to scroll through many many paintings you in a gallery setting for instance if you're in the gallery and the painting is taking up this much of your space you really have time to appreciate whatever it is that's on there for at least a few seconds before you move on to the next one um, whereas on the internet much like um, thumbnails of YouTube videos or ads they want to get your attention really quick and so they use big text they use bright colors they're drawing your eye quickly and so paintings like Leonids gain quick attention just because of the format of being in this mass media culture. There's always going to be a Starry Night painting. <laughs> yeah, Monet, the impression. So, so the other thing I notice is that um, there's a lot of the artist hand in these paintings that we're seeing here. So we're seeing the texture, we're seeing brush strokes, we're seeing the physicality of the paint on the surface. You'll even see this start to happen in digital paintings as well. You know, there's sort of like a uh, trying to recreate the look of a handmade oil painting or acrylic painting in, a, in digital art. And it's just um, something that draws people to the work. So there's a lot of art historical paintings and then a lot of paintings with color and texture. Some paintings with female faces, eyes. These are some of the kind of, um, it's like art for artists, I think. I think that people, when they're in a consumer state of mind, uh, they are looking for skill from the artist they're looking for color that will enhance a room of their home. It depends on the buyer, but I think they're looking for an aesthetic that's going to enhance their interior design of their existing room or the room that they envision. If they have an oriental kind of look and feel, they're looking for oriental paintings to help enhance that. If they love the ocean, they're gonna look for a lot of paintings that are of the sea, you know, and, and then, you know, that sort of thing. If they have a um, very modern interior, they may go with an abstract painting uh, or, or some kind of uh, avant-garde type painting. Okay, let's take a look at Pinterest because Pinterest is used by people who are in a mindset to just click around and save visual images that appeal to them and so there's generally a pretty good aesthetic on Pinterest for, for art. Okay now I'm looking on Pinterest to see if I can find commonalities with what we saw in Google image search. It's a bit different here. I'm definitely seeing a step up in quality. I'm seeing less, less paintings like this with just super vibrant colors and more painting like this that has just a little bit more attention to detail less of like kind of the it's almost like like art clickbait when it's when it's very saturated like that because you will see it you can't help but see it but then is it quality art that's the question something like this, this is very stylized 
picture. It's very interesting. It's modern. Kind of speaks to graphic art. I think there's a lot more, a, you know, sort of like a influence from graphic art in modern aesthetic. Pinterest is great for finding new artists. I use Pinterest all the time to do that. If I go to a painting that I like, I can just scroll down and see similar images, often similar paintings. I think the true answer to this question, what kind of painting sells, is if the painting uses color well, if it indicates the texture of paint, I think even something like this, I'm not sure if it was made with physical paint or if it was a digital painting, but either way, this painting tells me that it's got texture. I believe that this painting would have texture. Well, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to catch more reviews. Thank you and happy painting.